All right, we're uh, kind of wrapping up things here at Dakota College, uh, the Knutson Center Dining Edition. Uh, as you can get a look here, uh, most of the finishes are done, kind of going through, just doing some final cleaning. Uh, we'll get into some of the food service items as well too. We've seen a little bit of delays on a couple pieces of equipment that we're still waiting uh, for confirmation on. But um, other than that, kind of walking through the building, getting final clean done. Uh, obviously you can see the storefronts. This whole room here is painted. Um, uh, the window blinds are going in here now. Uh, there's one that we did have to reorder, but uh, that should be here in the next couple weeks to get put on. Uh, kind of moving this way, uh, the school had been working through getting their projector and speakers mounted, uh, as well as kind of a little fancy wood piece on the wall there too that uh, got put in by them internally. Um, other than that, kind of moving this way, uh, now that the finishes are kind of in here, you kind of see this will be where the new dish drop will be located. Uh, there'll be a little trash receptacle bin that goes kind of underneath the tile that you see there. Uh, that'll be a coiling door that they can open and close from inside the dish drop room. Uh, a couple display monitors here that the school put in. Uh, we've got all our doors minus the storage or the main mechanical room door in just because we're still working in there a little bit. Uh, all the doors are in, glass is on, just finishing up some miscellaneous hardware on these doors here now. Um, you can see a couple items here. Right now the rooftop unit is scheduled to be started next Monday. Uh, so once they come up here to do that, we'll get some of this insulation that we have stuffed in the uh, return air duct just to keep some cold air from coming in the building. But that'll have a finished grill to cover all that as well as around the insulation on the, the supply duct there. Um, as you can see, this is the flooring, kind of a three by three, uh, pretty heavy, uh, I guess you'd call it an LDT product, but uh, almost gives you a kind of a concrete-ish look. Um, with a little bit of the dark transition on both sides of the room as well too. So I guess kind of moving into the serving area, I'll say. Uh, we did get our first batch of uh, food service equipment, quite a bit of the fridges. Uh, the stainless wall panel is going on now, or is finished now. Uh, a couple of fridges, we did get a couple of the custom stainless items in the dish drop area. Um, one of the items that we're still waiting on are the hot drop-in units for the hot serving counter. Um, we ended up having to go back and forth and ended up going with a different manufacturer. Now we're seeing a little bit of a, some extended lead times on that. So uh, our plan right now is to relocate uh, the hot serving counter in the existing building temporarily in here until we can get take delivery of the new equipment. Uh, the balance of everything else should be a plan for going in, um, I think the week of the seventh, we'll take delivery of the balance and then we'll start uh, late uh, homecoming weekend and start doing the relocation on Friday and try to have everything in here, finish our connections Monday uh, and then have our final health inspection uh, the following Tuesday is the plan right now. So uh, pretty much finished in here. Um, kind of go in here into this dish drop area. Um, we're obviously relocating the existing dishwasher from the existing space so we can't finish any of the custom stainless counters until that unit is in here, um, just to do some final modifications and adjustments. So uh, kind of work, plumbers working in here a little bit. Uh, they can't really do any of their final connections until everything is done uh, after it's been relocated. So uh, kind of see the, the hood there. I know Ecolab's been here and got a lot of their uh, detergent system set up uh, in this room kind of ahead of it. Um, yeah, this is kind of the dish drop room here. Like I said, the dishwasher will be right underneath this hood. Um, dishes will come in, be able to run right through that. So that's kind of this room here. A couple offices moving back this way. Can't remember which one's which. One's a manager's office. And then I believe this one here is going to be the shared office. So um, there you go, lights will come on. Both offices are pretty much similar finishes. Uh, the same flooring product that's out in the dining area. Um, both rooms are getting window blinds as well. Um, yeah, really not a whole lot in here. Just uh, work with the school on getting uh, the balance of uh, their equipment installed and systems furniture and whatnot too. So um, yeah, kind of coming back over here, you kind of see this will be the kind of the cooking area here underneath the big hood. Um, there's a couple pieces of new equipment. Uh, the majority of the equipment that's getting put on this wall is uh, getting relocated from the existing building. So um, obviously this will look a little bit bare until uh, we do the move-in of all that equipment. Uh, like I said, this will be the U-shaped one here that we're currently waiting 
uh, to take delivery on. Uh, there's going to be a salad bar kind of right out in the middle here. So we're going to be relocating some of the existing hot or cold drop-in units and sneeze guards onto this new counter. Um, and kind of where you see the tile around the wall there, that'll be the beverage area. Uh, there'll be beverages on the one side, desserts on this front side. I think the ice cream maker is going to sit right on the side there. So this will be a full stainless counter that wraps around that wall there for, for all of those items. You know, pot machine, coffee maker, things of that nature too. So I think they'll have the fridge for some drinks in there as well. Uh, kind of moving this way, both the fridge and the freezers are both up and running. Uh, they've been up and running for a couple weeks now, so they're uh, currently at temp right now. Kind of give you a look inside one of these. Not, uh, not too much there. You can see some of the racking's been staged. Um, once they come back to do their next install, they'll get all this racking put together and, and assembled and set up inside each one of these units. Uh, the fridge and the freezer are both the same size internally. Uh, they're actually just spun uh, a different way, so the width and the depth are the same, just 90 degrees from one, each one or each other. So, yeah, that's pretty much it in here. Same thing on the back wall here. Um, a lot of the custom stainless shelves, some of the new equipments in here. And then there is going to be quite a bit of relocated equipment going in here as well. Uh, there'll be a sink that get, gets moved over and then a couple existing uh, work tables along this wall. Uh, the ice maker is going to get installed on this back corner here. So the ice maker will kind of sit right in the back corner here. Um, yeah, other than that, just a couple tables. Uh, really not a whole lot back here. This is kind of the cold food prep area on the back here. So um, yeah, we can move over here too. Kind of going out towards the back uh, delivery area. Kind of getting things cleaned up here. Uh, you can see this is kind of going back out. This will be the main entrance and exit for getting uh, items and equipment in and out of the space. This won't be a pathway for any students, uh, just mostly staff and uh, su uh, suppliers bringing uh, items in and out of the room here. Kind of see this will go right back out the Right out to the high, or right out to the, the main entrance road there. Um, so they'll be able to back trucks up right up to these bollards and load equipment and uh, food and everything else right in from outside here. Um, just kind of going this way here. Uh, this will where, be where the washer and dryer are staged uh, just for um, what the school has for washing and drying. Uh, we're relocating what's existing in their existing space. That'll get put here. Kind of a little. Uh, janitor's area here with a mop sink, some holders as well. Kind of moving into this room here. This is kind of their dry storage room. Um, pretty empty now. We're just working on getting some items cleaned up and pulled out of here. Uh, really isn't a whole lot going on in here. Um, just dry storage. Uh, there'll be the CO2 or carbon dioxide uh, dispenser for the pot machine there, as well as the water heater for the domestic water inside the, the building here too. So. Other than that, that's about it in through here. <clears throat> Quick look in the bathroom. Uh, really nothing fancy here. Just kind of a easily wiped down FRP surface on the walls. Toilet, sink, just a staff bathroom kind of in the back, back of house area here. So. <clears throat> so we can swing over here. Take a look in the mechanical room quick. Uh, so this will be where main steam comes in, runs through the heat exchanger, heats the, uh, the glycol loop for heating inside the building here, as well as fire and domestic water come in. You can see the water meter on the wall there. Fire suppression comes up and runs out from there. That has a drain that goes out the building. And then this is that, uh, we had a value engineering option to go with this Aquarex water conditioner system versus a uh, standalone water softener for the building. Um, that was an option that the school uh, elected to give a try and see how it works out. Um, I think the water in town here is a little bit tough on things, so uh, they were looking to try something else to uh, see if it would be a potential fix moving forward too. So, Most electrical, some low voltage here along this wall. Uh, that's pretty well kind of wrapped up. I know the school's working through some of that. Um, 
yeah, pretty much that's about it. Um, kind of talk schedule wise, like I said, we were <coughs> originally hoping to uh, get everything moved in here in January, uh, but with some of the delays on the hot serving counter as well as some of the custom stainless on a lot of these shelves, we ended up having to push that back a little bit. Uh, so we're working with the school a little bit to try to relocate some of the existing items temporarily in the space for them to operate out of here until we can get final delivery of the new equipment as well too. So um, yeah, that's pretty much where we're at. Uh, like I said, rooftop units starting uh, Monday next week. Uh, we've got final fire alarm, fire suppression, as well as the ANSEL system for the hood testing with the state fire marshal scheduled for, uh, I think the first week in February. Uh, so once that's done, uh, the following week is when we're gonna be moving everything into the building. Uh, and then we'll have our tentatively right now, we're shooting for um, the week of the 13th or 14th for, yeah, the week of the 14th of uh, February, finish our terminations on the 14th for all the new equipment that was new and relocated. Uh, and then have our final uh, Department of Health walkthrough and final inspection on the 15th as well. Uh, and then once that's complete, uh, they should be able to start serving out of the space. So um, yeah, it was going pretty good. Just uh, dealing with some uh, material delays, but uh, it's kind of the nature of the beast lately. So. Other than that, I guess thanks for the fall walk along and the update.